What is hyperthyroidism? Hyperthyroidism is when the thyroid gland is overfunctioning or being overstimulated. Mm -hmm. uh, the, there is uh, too much thyroid hormone being produced for what mm -hmm. the body needs. And uh, because of the thyroid hormone's ability to influence the metabolic activity in, at the cellular level, that creates symptoms like anxiety, nervousness, oh. uh, the blood pressure goes up, they mm. get sort of jittery. Mm -hmm. And if there's an autoimmune component to it as well, it affects uh, visual things. So blurry vision, uh, actually is, the eyes start to come out a, a little bit. It's called exophthalmos. And so you, it looks like a person's eyes are more like this. Wow. And um, they start to lose weight, you know, as opposed to hypothyroid that. where they're gaining weight. Now everything's put in hyper mode and so their metabolic activity is going really fast and now they're starting to lose weight. And it puts you at a uh, long-term risk for cardiovascular disease and um, and various other conditions that would be due to excess mm -hmm. functioning. Um, so, so yeah, and there, there are different causes of hyperthyroid. Um, the most common cause, again, is an autoimmune condition called Graves' disease. Mm. And this is uh, where there are uh, antibodies that are um, affecting the thyroid such that there are, uh, it affects it in a way that there is overproduction of thyroid hormone. Mm -hmm. What are some of the treatments for it? The treatments for... The natural treatments. Uh, natural treatments for hyperthyroid. Um, there are several uh, herbs that have been uh, traditionally used for hyperthyroid, and now there's actually scientific validation of mm. what those herbs are doing. Mm. Um, so so the, the treatment is twofold. One, it would be to try to downregulate the thyroid functioning because mm -hmm. it's overactive. And two would be to try to accommodate uh, the symptoms and help a person feel more comfortable. Um, but those traditional herbs used to uh, help downregulate the thyroid um, are uh, lycopus, mm -hmm. uh, melissa, which is also known as uh, uh, lemon balm, mm -hmm. um, lithosperma is another one. Um, and uh, Leonaris cardiaca, which is known as motherwort. And the, the first three I mentioned, uh, Lycopus, Lithosperma, and uh, Melissa, all three of those have been shown in scientific research to uh, downregulate that thyroid functioning. Mm -hmm. and, and so they help that overactive thyroid issue. Leonaris uh, cardiaca, or motherwort, uh, is, a, is a very calming um, herb mm -hmm. that helps to calm a person down and it seems to have an affinity for the heart as well. So you, you can imagine in someone who's agitated, they're nervous, they're irritable, they're having heart palpitations, night sweats, feeling mm. all ramp, ramped up, that something that's very calmative uh, can be effective. And usually I combine all, all four of those herbs in a tincture mm -hmm. and uh, an alcohol extract of herbs and it's a liquid alcohol extract. And, and it, that, can be, uh, that can be effective. Um, other uh, treatments involve um, there's a research showing that uh, antioxidants are helpful in hyperthyroid, mainly because you can think of excess metabolic activity produces excess oxidation, mm, which okay. destroys tissues. So you want to get antioxidants on board that mm -hmm. help to uh, quelch that excess oxidation. So that would be, um, you know, nutrients would be vitamin C, vitamin E, selenium, zinc, um, vitamin A, and then... Uh, carotenoids, flavonoids, mm -hmm. um, you know, so foods would be those colorful foods like dark berries, like blueberries, blackberries, raspberries, okay. oranges, uh, red peppers, things that uh, have that antioxidant, anti-inflammatory uh, type effect because they will help deal with the excess production of um, the thyroid and, and the consequences of that. Okay, thank you very much. Yep.